Welcome to Star Rims. Today I am going to talk about memory specifications of NVIDIA RTX 3000 series graphics cards. We see NVIDIA RTX 3000 series graphics cards comes with GDDR6X memory, not the RTX 3070 but 3080 and 3090. GDDR type of memory is made by Micron Technology, AMD NVIDIA buys from them. Difference between GDDR6 and GDDR6X is memory speed, obviously. GDDR6 is capable of sending data at the speed of 14 to 16 Gbps. GDDR6X, in the other hand, have 19 to 21 Gbps speed. There is one more important thing to know is memory bandwidth. Bandwidth is how much data can be transferred from one point to another point in a specific time. Basically, bandwidth is the pipeline of data, and GDDR is the source of sending data here. So now talk about memory specifications of RTX 3000 series graphics cards. NVIDIA didn't update their website mentioning memory bandwidth of RTX 3000 unlike RTX 2000 for some reason. But that's not a problem, you can easily calculate bandwidth. So for the RTX 3090, it have GDDR6X and 384-bit memory interface width. So take the GDDR6X speed, 19 Gbps. Multiply it with memory interface width 384 bit and divide with 8. So 912 GB per second is bandwidth. For the RTX 3080, it also have GDDR6X but 320 bit memory interface width. So 19 into 320 divided by 8, 760 GB per second bandwidth. RTX 3070, however, have GDDR6 instead of GDDR6X, so the speed is 14 Gbps with 256 bit memory interface width. So 14 into 256 divided by 8, 448 Gb per second bandwidth. So, in terms of memory speed, RTX 3070 is slower than RTX 2080 Ti because 2080 Ti have 616 Gb per second memory bandwidth. But only this fact will not really make the RTX 3070 slower than RTX 2080 Ti because RTX 3070 contains lot more CUDA cores and it is made upon Samsung 8 and M process node, so there will be IPC improvement. I think there is three possible reasons to put G6 instead of G6X memory in the RTX 3070. One, to keep price low. Two, NVIDIA keeping backups for future, so if AMD does anything big with RDNA 2, which I think they will, NVIDIA will just update their cards with more performance like updating memory to G6X with 16 GB VRAM. And three, to reduce every possible bottleneck in your budget CPU like glorious 6 cores 12 threads Ryzen 3600, because RTX 2080 Ti does bottleneck 6 core CPU sometimes and it's mainly because of bandwidth and it is very clever way to reduce bottleneck without sacrificing much performance. So owners of 6 cores 12 thread CPU can have RTX 2080 Ti like performance without bottlenecking their CPU. But we can definitely hope for another RTX 3070 with G6X memory which will be true RTX 2080 killer.